before we begin the lesson, let's take a look at the finished product of what you'll be learning to program in the lesson. It's a little application that calculates the monthly payment for a loan. So if we put in a number of $2,000, $2,000 loan at an interest rate of 10%, spread over only one payment, then the person will owe $2,200 back because $200 is 10% of $2,000. If they split that payment between two months, then it becomes 1100 and so on and so forth as the months go. We're going to begin with the bare bones of an HTML5 document. Mine is named example.html and you can name yours whatever you like. First thing we'll do is go into the body element and we're going to place those three fields, those numeric fields that we need. And all three are going to be number type fields. And we're going to put those within little paragraph elements just to space them apart. So we have the loan amount, and that's an input with an ID of amount, and its type is number. The minimum that the loan amount can be is $1, and the maximum is $1 million. Now when anybody changes the value within that, we're going to make the compute loan function run. And that's going to be the focus of the lesson, is to show you how to program the compute loan function. And that's all it is, is three numeric fields to take in the amount of the loan, the interest rate and how many months that the loan is to be spread over how many payments the user is going to make on the loan and then finally we have an h2 element and that's the one that showed the actual monthly payment that's where we're going to render our monthly payment inside of the compute loan function so all we have to do now is create the compute loan function which is going to compute all of these values before we do that let's inspect how our html renders Okay, that's exactly what we want. And these are number, so they'll have steppers. If you have a, a modern browser, it should have little steppers on the side. Or the, if it doesn't have that, the user can just type in whatever number they want right there. Now let's get this compute loan function in place. We'll go up into our head element, and inside of our scripting element, we'll type in function, compute loan, opening curly brace, and closing curly brace. Now you can see that in all of these HTML elements, they're given the on change event. So anytime anybody changes any one of those three, the compute loan function is going to execute. It's going to fire off. So the first thing we do inside of the compute loan function is we gather up the variables needed, the values from all three of those input fields. So you can see we're getting element by ID, name of amount, interest rate, and months. That's these three right here. And we're putting them into local JavaScript variables called amount, interest rate, and months. And that gives you the values of those fields. Now the next line, we're going to calculate the interest for the loan. So we put in this variable. We'll name it interest. And what we do is we take the full amount of the loan and we multiply it by the interest rate times 0 0.01. So when you take the interest rate times 0 0.01 all it does is it moves the decimal over two places and this pretty much just creates a numeric percentage from the interest rate value so you take the amount and you multiply it by the interest rate percentage and then you divide that by months and that gives you the amount of dollars in interest now the next thing we do is we calculate their monthly payment we create a variable called payment and that's going to be equal to the amount divided by the months and then you just add the interest and we use the to fixed method here on that number to make sure it's only a decimal point with two values behind it like money format and one more line for formatting it like money is this line so all this line does is it adds a comma for the thousands between every three digits in the in the string and then finally, in this payment display container, we're going to make the monthly payment render there. So we say document, get element by ID, the payment element, which is this one. Its inner HTML is going to say monthly payment is equal to whatever the calculated payment is as the user is adjusting all of these little form controls. So now let's save that. And let's test to see if we have a working application. You test this in your favorite browser. And I'm going to put a loan amount of $2,000. And the interest rate is 10 
by default and since it's only set to one month that means the monthly payment is going to be the full amount plus the interest but if the user wants to spread that over 10 months then you'll see their payment only two hundred and twenty dollars and you can adjust the default values for the for instance the interest rate I have it set to a default of 10 you can change that to whatever you want that could be a 3.5 percent interest rate but I'll just leave it on 10 and I made it step by the tenths so it'll go up a tenth each step that way you can have an interest rate of 4.5 and 4.6 and 4.7 and hopefully the logic here will help you create any kind of calculators that you need to create just by using the appropriate math for the type of calculator that we're creating so that's a monthly payment calculator that also applies interest to the loan All right, I hope you guys have enjoyed this JavaScript programming lesson and we'll see you in the next exercise